Welcome to the Social Chase, where we share journeys in the world of autism. Welcome to our guest, Helen Pappas, who is autistic and a photographer. Helen was also highlighted in Spectrum Spotlight. Welcome, Helen. Thank you. It's great to be here. Who inspired, I mean, what inspired you to do photography? It started when I enrolled at the Hamden Transition Academy, a located at Southern Connecticut State University. Uh, one of my instructors um, noticed uh, noticed I had a gift for photography, but it wasn't until it wasn't until later in August, um, yeah, it wasn't until later um, autumn that year that I really started to pursue that career. Um, when first attending a meeting at the Hammond, um, when I first attended a meeting mm -hmm. at the North Haven Camera Club, I noticed there was a lot of techniques and inspirational uh, information. Uh, it was really interesting. I had a great time and I joined right away because I knew I wanted to inspire and make a difference in the lives of people with disabilities. Uh, funny story, actually. Uh, one of the presenters uh, was giving a presentation, and mm -hmm. she threw a, what looked like um, uh, um, a natural camera lens, but it was actually um, a coffee mug in the shape of a, a camera lens. It was funny, though. Very interesting. Yeah, everyone thought it was a real cam camera lens, but it wasn't, though. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you see yourself in the future career-wise? Do you... Will you pursue a career in photography or do you want to go on to something else? Well, one day I hope to travel and, uh, well, I hope to travel and take pictures of wildlife, maybe for National Geographic or maybe become a mentor for people with disabilities. I'm That's trying to do uh, maybe one of those right now. I'm actually looking for a job currently. But that's my dream job, though, to travel and take pictures of wildlife and landscapes and maybe historic castles. I'm not sure yet. Oh, those are beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful. What challenges have you had living with autism? I had difficulty making friends, actually. Um, oh. Well, currently, I, I'm currently in Best Buddies. One of my friends, uh, Jenna, and also my friend Morgan. Um, well, my friends helped me to, uh, they taught me how to see the beauty of nature and what people can look more than, look at more than what people tend to look past. People tend to look past the objects in everyday life. Mm -hmm. But um, my friend, my, my friends and family helped me to see the beauty in everyday life. And um, there's actually more to the world than everyone thinks there are. Just have to look closer and Take in that wonderful scenery. Amazing. Nice. Yeah. Now, when did you first realize what it meant to be on the autism spectrum? Uh, it actually wasn't out there until my family uh, moved to moved from Colorado to Connecticut. Uh, that's when I actually realized I I learned differently than other people. But that's okay though. Um, I'm really creative, and I go. I, almost my own path, and I do what inspires me. I uh, help people. That's awesome. Thanks. James? How did you feel to be chosen to be participate in the Autism Speaks Spectrum Spotlights? Well, I was really inspired by the emails of the news their newsletter from uh, other people with disabilities, and I just, I emailed them, and I asked if I could be, uh, be one of their guests, and they said they'd love to have me. Wow, that's, that's nice. That's awesome. Thanks. Now, if you could share one quote that really inspired you, really you took to heart with all of our viewers out there, what quote would that be? Well, if you have an idea, go for it. Don't ever let anyone tell you your dream is out of reach. And always remember, your light will prevail. That's what from one of my poems that I recently wrote. Wow. Ooh. Wow, that's awesome. amazing. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you for that. Also, I'm doing the photography class too oh, recently. Wow. Yep, yeah, at a college. Oh, wow. What I college? recently took a photography class and I find it so much fun. 
Yeah. You get to play mm -hmm. different angles and also you get to see the world with a new perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I am a painter. Oh. I love painting and they'll get, even though painting will give you one perspective, one mm -hmm. look, view, with photography, you look at, at so many different viewpoints, so many yeah. different critiques, and I might actually pursue a little photography on the side. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, consider joining the camera club. Uh, it's a, a, we do monthly meetings at Hope Church in North Haven. If you don't know where it is, maybe just, I don't know, just Google it or something. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah. Okay, uh, thanks for that information. And okay. glad to have you on the show. Thank you, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chase, for having me. You're welcome. <laughs>